Hi there, today we want to share with you how to use Microsoft Teams revamp searching feature. It has been updated with some really helpful filters to increase ease of searching and improve productivity. So let's take a look. It looks pretty much the same so far, but what we're just gonna do is type in our search bar what we want to look for. So in this example, we're gonna go ahead and type in brainstorm. And as you can see straight away, the results layout is a lot neater and visually appealing now in the center of the page rather than on the left. We can first filter this by choosing either top results or latest results at the top right hand corner there then at the top taskbar on the left we have search categories like all messages people or just files and um, so we've gone ahead and clicked on messages so we can show you some more of the new filters at the top here so we start with the type of message we're looking for is it in a chat or a channel you can then filter by the person you want to message from so i'm just going to go ahead and type my own name in there which narrows the search down significantly as you can see there, we can also fil it, filter it by date. So you have the general dates like today, this month, this week, or you can make a very specific search if you know roughly when the thing you're looking for was sent, which can help narrow your search down a lot quicker. So obviously you just go ahead and click on apply and then that comes up with the specific dates and any messages that come up in those dates. We also have tick boxes for any mentions that have you in, any attachments, and you can also hide any apps and bots that appear in the search too. The clear all button at the end will reset all your filters you have applied so you can start a fresh new search. If you want to expand the messages, we can click on the little arrow there and we can see the conversation that we had. You can then also click on the go to message button in the right hand corner, which is super helpful because it takes you to exactly where the message was sent. We also have the option to search through your connections and then as well as files where you have filters or a specific team on the far left side. You can also narrow down your search by file type. So for example, images, PDFs, Word or Excel. We can also filter by who modified the file and the dates again too, which is the same format as the one for your messages. So you have a lot of options there to filter down your search and get to your files, contacts or messages a lot more efficiently and productively in comparison to the previous search model on Teams. So that's it for our demonstration today. We hope that this is helpful for you and please subscribe for more tips and tricks.